Hey, mathematicians, this is Mrs. Shepard coming to you. We've got a lesson here that's going to be a review of graphing linear equations using a T-table. You talked about it in seventh grade. That was so long ago. So I really want to spend some time refreshing your memory, showing you a strategy, a reminder that all graphs must be done on graph paper. If you submit an assignment with graphs on anything but graph paper, I have to tell you I'm not going to accept it. If you don't have graph paper at home, in Notability, you can add graph paper. Um, and how you do that is you hit those three dots, you hit paper, and then you can select a grid and it'll make your background a grid. So you can either use, I prefer that you use paper. Um, I think that's just important. I think it's easier to do than on the um, iPad. I think it's a little bit more challenging. If you don't have graph paper accessible, then here is your option using a school issued device, okay? So you can pick any one of those graphs and that would work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna graph use a T table. I've got two examples for you and then you're gonna work on your worksheet. So my equation is Y equals two X minus four. I wanna graph that. I wanna take it from the algebraic and turn it into a graph. Again, continuing to work on those four forms of functions. T table, graph, algebraic, and verbal, meaning words, okay? So here we go. This is my equation to start with. I am going to pick the values that I want for X. You are welcome to pick the values that you want. I do like to see some negatives as well as some positives. Um, mine happen to go in order. They don't have to go in order. Keeping them closer to zero definitely helps with the graphing process though. Um, so my equation is Y equals two X minus four. I'm gonna write two X minus four in this box because that's the magic I'm gonna do to get my Y. So if X is negative one, two times negative one minus four is negative six. Two times zero, so I'm putting my X value in for the X to figure out my Y. Two times zero minus four is negative four. Two times one minus four, two times one is two, minus four is negative two. And then I'm gonna put two in for X, so two times two minus four is zero. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my equation, I'm coming up with values for X, you can choose to use these same numbers every time or different ones, your choice, and then I'm evaluating that expression to solve for Y. So now what I do is I'm gonna take each of my ordered pairs, I'm gonna take my X ordered pair and my Y ordered pair, and I'm going to graph it, okay? So negative one, negative six means I'm gonna go back one, down one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Zero, negative four means I'm gonna go over zero, down one, two, three, four. Um, X is one, I'm gonna go over one, down one, two and two zero means I'm going to go over two down zero. Okay. And so when I graph them, I'm going to make sure that they're in a straight line. Everything we're graphing now is going to be a straight line. So when you plot your points, if it doesn't come out to be a straight line, um, then I would double check your computation or your graphing. Then there means there is a mistake because we're only talking linear equations right now. Once I have those points plotted, my last step is to draw a line through those points and put arrows on the end because this line is going to continue on forever. It's going to go on forever in both directions. Okay. I've got one more example for you and then it's, it's going to be some work time. Here we go. So here's my equation. I'm going to use the line to create a T table. In order to use a t-table, it has to be written as y equals, okay? We practiced in previous units rewriting equations, so y is by itself. So we're going to pull back on that skill. We're going to go back and use the same thing. My whole goal is to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, okay? And if you see, it's kind of like working the equations like we did with standard form too, right? We got to get things where they belong. Um, and so I'm left with 6y equals negative 2x minus 12. 
And then I need y all by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by 6. y equals negative 1 third x minus 2. Okay? So that's my equation I'm going to put into my t table. So negative 1 third x minus 2. Okay? So from here, I'm going to pick values for x. Now, because, um, because I have a fraction, that's going to make things a little bit different. So I'm going to pick multiples of 3 so I can come up with integers for my answers. So I'm going to pick, say, negative 3. 0 is always a good one to use. I'm going to use 3, and I'm going to use 6. Okay? So what we have is negative 1 third times negative 3 minus 2. So I'm taking my x value, I'm substituting it in for x to solve for y. Negative 1 third times negative 3 is, is 1, minus 2 is negative 1. All right, looking at the next one, negative 1 third times 0 minus 2. So negative 1 third times 0 is 0, minus 2 is negative 2. Two. Negative one third times three minus two. Negative one third times three is negative one. Minus two is negative three. And then negative one third times six minus two. Negative one third times six is negative two. Minus two is negative four. All right. So now I have my x values and my y values, and I can graph them. And by the way, calculator use is allowed this entire time. So if you find it to be more efficient to type that into your calculator, I have no problem with that. Go ahead and do that. So when I'm taking a look here, I've got negative 3, negative 1. I always go back and start at the origin. I've got 0 and negative 2. I've got 3 and negative 3. So the first number, my x tells me how to go sideways. My y tells me how to go up and down. And then 6, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right here. Okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my line. If I hold my pen down, it'll straighten it for me. Arrows on the end. All right? So you're going to be graphing using a T-table. You're going to be working on worksheet 5.5. Make sure that all graphs are done on graph paper. Um, and on the worksheet, there actually are graphs already. So you're welcome just to use those um, if you want to. Okay? So there is a front and a back. So make sure you do that. Also, a reminder, Wednesday's task is to do the fast bridge assessment. That is what all middle school math students are going to be doing on Wednesday. You can do it today, Tuesday, if you want to get it done early. Totally cool with that. Make sure it's done by Wednesday at 3. All right, mathematicians, thanks for joining us today, and I will plan to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.